We just need to find stuff to repair the nest now. Hey, isn't that oink? How do you feel? Better. That is definitely him. That's oink. What's happening, big guy? Why are you here? You missed us, didn't you? I bet he felt lonely on his empty eyelid. You do realize that we can't take you along on our journeys, don't you? That would be too exhausting for you. But you can stay with us next to the nest if you want. <laughs> no funny business, though. You know, you can use these boots for drifting. It makes faster turns. Sorry. I'm still not completely used to this model. Nothing is a pretty good start. Hey, the first one didn't count. What? Why didn't it count? We hadn't started the contest. Uh, okay, one nothing. But that's only because I know I'll win. And that is exactly what will cause your downfall. Nothing. Okay, okay, beginner's luck. But watch out, it won't last. Let me know when you want to lead, all right? Sure will. with these boots on. We know what's that way. Is she sleepy? No, no. I'm just... unwinding. Frustrating. Lucky for us, they're not all like this. Feel that? What? Like a tremor. 
No, I wasn't paying attention. I hope I imagined it. Another bit of rust for your collection? Oh, cool. I don't have this one yet. Told me one day I'd be millions of lumsack from the apiary watching rocks flying by. Beautiful, isn't it? I'd say intriguing. I'm trying to figure out how it works. I'm pretty sure you don't know how nucleosynthesis works either. But you can still appreciate the stars in the sky. That's true. <sighs> it could be worse. Yeah. Actually, this is all thanks to the matchmaker. What? Think about it. Imagine the matchmaker had put us together. We would have spent our boring lives in the apiary without surprise, and we would have never ended up here, together, watching rocks flying by. This is no joking matter. For all we know, the apiary is hot on our trail right now. If they find us, and they bring us back, we'll see how much you want to thank the matchmaker. That was just a turn of phrase. Not a good one. Uh... All right, come on. Let's go. Uh, you are not even letting me take a look. Do we agree this thing does not look very natural? Yeah. It's probably satellite debris or a rocket propeller? This part of space is a real dump. I don't know. This stone circle around it still looks weird to me. This? These aren't stones. They're Brian's Mollus Molus. Bloofs, for short. Bloofs? Yeah, because when you sit on them, it goes. I like. Huh. Oh. Huh. <sighs> I 
think I could fall asleep right here. You? Uh... You? <gasps> Who? What? I told you I'm not going back. Go bloot yourselves! You. It's me. I think you fell asleep. Oh, sorry. These bloofs are way too comfortable. You can't leave me here. <laughs> if we ever need to sleep under the stars, we'll know where to come. the other way? As you wish. thing eat up a flow thread? Sure did. That's probably why these creatures don't seem affected by the rust. Good for them. But I hope they're sparing some for others. Us, namely. I'm not sure what his toy did to him, but I wouldn't like to be in its place. Hold on. Isn't that... What? Let's get a closer look. Doesn't sound like a good idea. You know, it's actually nice to walk. Before you interrupted me, I was about to say, in small doses. Okay. It would seem that he's not gonna share his toy. What did I tell you? Your turn! On it! Kapow! Who's next? Done and done. You left this toy behind. That's not a toy. Looks like... A robot? Almost. It's a Draca. Drone for autonomous cartography. 
Very old tech. The kind we sent out to Beauty before it was integrated to the apiary. Oh. Seems like they pondered integrating Source for a while as well. I wonder why they changed their minds. It could be the fact that this planet is scattered like a puzzle. Probably was a factor. The Draca may hold some answers. You're kidding. No, really. Stuff from that era was built tough. We may be able to boot it back up. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I might have spoken a bit quickly. The flow circuits are completely fried. But... 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 but look at what I was able to salvage. The anti-grav chips don't seem to be damaged. I should be able to make them compatible with our boots by tweaking the connectors a bit. Whoa. Even better, the mapping module is also working perfectly. If I plug that into the glove's power source, it should... Boom! This should be very helpful for finding our way around the bits of land. <laughs> you never cease to impress me. Ah, uh, that's nothing, really. These old machines are plain and simple astronautical engineering. Not like the new stuff with boronic nano components everywhere. So, that way we can map out the different bits? Yeah, and with this, we can make our way back to the nest a lot easier. Hey, look! It says there's another bridge in this area. Perfect. That way we can test if your thingy works. One down. Ah, we're that good. Are you sure they cancelled the colonization? Because we've come across a lot of infrastructure at this point. I'm just telling you what I read in the archives. Could it be that the archives are... lying? Hmm. Uh, of course they could be. Yeah, that's where we came from. No, wait. We just saw this one. The other bridge must be located a little higher. Higher? What does that even mean? Just look at what's on the radar. Is working. Are you surprised? Hmm. Huh. This is weird. What is? It looks like there's also a pre recorded location on the radar. Hmm. What could it be? I don't know. Little Draco's favorite picnic spot? In that case, we definitely have to check it out.
one is nice and ripe. Aren't we getting close to lunchtime? Don't ask me. I'm always hungry. What was that? Sorry, I forgot that we could dr- Come on, give me your boots. Once I plug in these chips, they'll be like a whole new pair. I can barely figure out left and right as they are. I am gonna kill them. I swear I am gonna kill them. Are you sure you don't want to take a break, get some fresh air? No! These bleeding anti-grav chips aren't the boss of me. I still don't understand what the problem is. The problem is, there is such a thing as a standard. And the Borons who designed this drone thought it might be fun to improve this standard. Except, if you take a standard and improve upon it, you get... Two standards? Zero standard! <sighs> and so now, it looks like I have to machine these Boron chips. Just so they can fit in these bleeding boots. Uh... Anything I can do to help? No. I'm okay. I'm done. What? But that was super quick. Well, yeah. When you have the right tools. I mean, since you were complaining, I was thinking that it would take a while. It's a matter of principle. Let's go. We'll see if these work outside. Ready to test these bad boys? I guess. What are we doing? Okay. Follow the thread as usual, except this time, we should be able to make it till the end. Obviously, it doesn't work as well if we're not paying attention. Try again? Above the ground is awesome? Uh, awesomeness is very subjective, you. In any case, these boots are working. We should try them with that thread we weren't able to use last time. Do you remember where it was? The mapping module certainly does. Aggressive dish, isn't it? Hmm? Why'd you say that? Well, it's a lot of fat and carbs. You're usually more fine dining. Hmm, that's true. There's more if you want. Definitely. 18, 19, 20. Keep on going, my love, you're strong. 21, 22. You know I'm able to count on my own, right? Yeah. But I like to watch when you do push-ups. That way I feel like I'm participating. Okay... Where were we? Fourteen. Huh? I thought it was at least twenty. No, no. See? You do need me to count. Alright, back to it. Fourteen... Fifteen... Thirteen... Fourteen...
Improve what, exactly? Any idea of where we could find other aerial flow threads? There was one back on Chogeri, wasn't it? Although I have no idea how to get there. No worries. That's what the radar is for. Drifting next time. It makes faster turns. Too quick for them. just that easily.
block, I'll hit. Great job. You're welcome. That's how we rock. This is where we came from, isn't it? Certainly is. Again? Slower? You should take the lead. Set your own pace. This is where we came from. All right, I know. for later? Of course. I feel like a whole new world just opened up. I hope we'll find what we need in this area to repair the nest. Well, there's no doubt about it now. Source was clearly colonized. Look at these. They don't look like research outposts. These are clearly dwellings. Huh. I don't understand. Why would Exum Nova lie in their file? That's what bothers you? There are tons of reasons people lie. I think the question you should ask is, how was the apiary able to colonize an entire planet without anyone noticing? Where did the people go? What does that mean for us? I would like to think it's good news. Really? I don't understand what happened here, but if Source had indeed been colonized, then abandoned, that dramatically increases our chances of finding something to repair the nest with. 
That's what you call good news? No small victory. Okay. We'll make do. Beep beep! Pick up the pace! I'm doing what I can! I'm fighting with front-facing winds over here. This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Uh. Sorry, it was a reflex. the bridge we took to get here? It is. Can you keep up back there? Are you kidding? I have to go in slow motion. for cooking. like you. Thank you. 
Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. We made it. Still no clue as to why the Draka had this location in its memory. Fall asleep, you could take the lead. Huh? Did you feel that tremor? Yes, and I don't like this at all. Should we take a closer look? All good. We're out of reach. Just let me know when you're hungry. Okay. I'm hungry. Now what is this? No idea. But its engine hood would be a great fit on the nest. Is that even possible? Yes. Engine hoods are one of the very few standard pieces in the entire space industry. Someone got all the manufacturers to agree? No. One manufacturer gobbled all the others. <laughs> Same result. All right then, let's go. Huh? Go where? Well, to the nest. Aren't we taking the hood? Uh, yeah. Yes. Let's go. Let me know if I can help. I am happy to say that is over and done with. You know, that is one nice vehicle. Of course. I'm the one who built it. Hmm. Do you still consider this the same nest as the one you fixed up as a teenager? What do you mean? Well, we just changed the engine hood. I just changed the engine hood. Yes, okay, you did. But this isn't the first thing you've changed on the nest. And I hope it isn't the last one either. So, my question is, at what point does the nest, the one at the beginning, stop being the nest? Was it the first time you changed a part? Or will it be when you replace the last original part? Assuming you haven't done so yet. Does it happen sometime in between? Afterward? And even then, before you fixed it up the first time, all the spare parts that would eventually make up the nest, were they already the nest? What about you? Are you still Kay? Huh? Your body cells are constantly renewing, aren't they? Ever since you were born, you probably don't have that many cells in common with the K from the beginning. Actually, you two may not have a single cell in common. So, are you still K? I'll let you ponder that one. K! We need to go home now! You can think about that tomorrow, okay? It's late. Can't we do this tomorrow instead? Sure. Sure. Huh? What are you doing up so late? 
I had an idea. I wasn't able to go back to sleep, so I went ahead and tested it. Want to hear about it? Uh, yeah, okay. But real quickly, because the only reason I'm awake is that I have to pee. All right. So we figured out that rust was not a mineral matter, nor was it organic matter. So what else is left? Antimatter? <laughs> Correct. I didn't even think of that. But no, if it were antimatter, we wouldn't be standing here talking about it. So considering that rust is neither mineral nor organic, nor is it antimatter, it could be flow. Cool. But you could have just asked me. You can tell it's not flow because flow is blue and all flowy. This is red and all hard. I'll have you know that I just completed the test and the rust molecules are precisely the same as those in flow. They're just organized differently. Kind of like water and ice, if you will, just not the same. That's why flow, in the form as we know it, has such a strong effect on the rust. The molecules are binding, unbinding, and... Yes, sorry to interrupt, but are you almost done? Uh, I guess that depends on how detailed an explanation you need. The least. Then I'm done. Okay, thanks. Gotta pee! Do we have dry towels left? Yeah, I put them in the cabinet. Whew. What are you looking for? My necklace, you know, with the metal. Well, where's the last place you saw it? Really? All right, all right. I'm just trying to help. If you want to help, help me look for it. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, you know, we'll find your metal eventually. The nest isn't that big. <sighs> what if I lost it outside? Uh, yes. That would be a problem. Worst case scenario, we can make another one. Which do you want? Medal for best cook? For distinguished service under the sheets? You don't understand. I've always had that medal. Since I was a baby. This is the last memory I have of my parents. Okay. In that case... Uh... And you never take off your medal? No. Except when I shower, I guess. The string doesn't do well in water. So? Did you check out the shower area? Huh. Got it! You're the best, you! It's not like there was a lot of competition. What are you looking at? The distance between us and the apiary. I wouldn't expect it to change. Exactly. It's comforting. To us. To us. That's really good, actually. <laughs> that really strong, too. Do you remember the first time you talked about leaving the apiary? <laughs> of course. I'd had a shouting match with my mom. I was just angry. No, oh, before that. Before? 
We had landed the nest on a hilltop, we were stargazing, and you said, come on, let's go. Hmm? I haven't stopped thinking about it since that day. I think that's what pushed me to dig into the Astro Company archives, which led me to find the coordinates of Source. I wanted to be ready for the day. Wait, wait, when was that? I don't remember. Right at the beginning, you and your mom got in a fight, you hopped into the nest at night, and you picked me up at my house. Was that when we went to the uplands? Yes, the uplands, that's it. Oh, <laughs> Flute, I remember. It was in Frozember. It was super cold out. I was freezing. I just wanted to get back into the nest. That's why I said, let's go. <laughs> and since you didn't respond, I thought you wanted to stay outside. So I didn't push it. I actually caught a beast of a cold that night. Wait, so that means if I hadn't misunderstood that night... It wouldn't have changed a thing. Well, still, that means we would have never known about Source. We would have never come all the way here. Mm, I'm not buying your story. Huh? Why were we stargazing that night? You spent the entire night pointing out this and that constellation to me, wondering if there might be other inhabitable planets outside of the apiary, other forms of life. You were completely obsessed with the sky. I was even trying to open up about my issues, but you barely listened. And off you went again, chattering about the comets, the microorganisms, or whatever. So, keeping in mind that you had access to this data about Source, and the fact that you are K, do you really think you would have never stumbled upon this planet anyway? <sighs> you might be right. <sighs> was I really that annoying? <laughs> yes. I came to see you that night because I needed someone. I had nowhere else to go. But at the time, I regretted it. I was actually thinking it would be the last time we saw one another. But you insisted. And the following week, you came to see me in the evening with your little homemade cookies. We chatted all night. And I do believe that is when I fell in love. Really? The cookies? That's what made you fall in love? In my defense, they were some excellent cookies. But no, idiot, it wasn't the cookies. It was the thoughtfulness. I was sick, my nose was all swollen, croaking voice. I was a mess. And you just showed up, without me asking. I'd only known you for barely three weeks. You took care of me. You baked me some cookies. You stayed and chatted all night. Even though it was pretty clear nothing would happen. And you kept on making me laugh, even though it hurt every time I laughed. I hated you. What was it? Did you fall in love, or did you hate me? Well, they're not mutually exclusive. Kinda like salty sweet. Here. Give me a taste. a whole lot better than Kinovision, isn't it? You're right, but I still find it a little uneventful. That's harsh. When the sun just disappeared beyond the horizon, that was quite a twist. <laughs> Do you think the sun will rise tomorrow? Or is the world going to descend in darkness? A real cliffhanger. Mm, pass me the bottle and set it talking, Blute. I think it's empty. Ugh, Blute. Hmm. I still can't believe we made it. Well, it wasn't a big bottle or anything. I meant we made it here, on Source. <laughs> yeah, the odds weren't in our favor. Hmm. You mean you would have bet against yourself? Considering the general condition of the ship, the meshing of the patrols, and the distance we had to go? Definitely. So, why did you agree to follow me here? Because you asked me to. What? 
Did I say something wrong? No, no. Hmm. Is your chair comfortable? Why? Mine is a bit big, just for myself. Come sit. Hmm. Do you regret it? What? Following me? Why would I regret that? Just look at this sky. Look at us. What is there to regret? I don't know. The people? Don't you miss that? Seeing people? Honestly? No. I did have friends and colleagues. When we left the apiary, at first, I thought I would miss them. I thought that after a while, I would feel a void. I need to see them again. But that hasn't happened yet. Actually, I consider myself pretty lucky to have you. Asking for more would seem egotistical or ungrateful. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I should be telling you these things, or else you'll end up realizing that I don't deserve you. Do you really think that? I don't know. A little bit? <sighs> I find that comforting. Because I'm thinking that too, all the time. <laughs> that I don't deserve you? No, idiot. That I don't deserve you. Would you look at us? Not deserving one another. You know what? I think the world doesn't deserve us. Oh no, apple brew is only for special occasions. Okay. Do you mind if we switch sides? Hmm. Why? I don't know. I just feel like a change. Okay. Ugh! This is all sticky. Yeah! And whose fault is that? Uh -huh. I guess I can't really complain. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not. That'll teach you to pay attention next time. <laughs> 